Best Shortcuts to Speed Up Work in Premiere Pro In this tutorial, you will learn the most basic keyboard shortcuts that will speed up and simplify your work. First, let's add a video to the timeline. We will do this using the Viewer plugin from Easy Edit Studio. It is a huge library of images, GIFs and videos, which are collected from popular sites. It is convenient to quickly watch a video and add it to the timeline with one click. Now let's add some videos and deal with hotkeys. Great, we've added everything. Using the tilde key, we can open the working area in full screen. It is convenient when working with large projects to see the entire timeline. Works with all work areas. This way you can enlarge the program monitor at any time. And any other window. Now let's figure out the main navigation buttons. Using the plus and minus keys, we increase or decrease the timeline. And we are approaching the point of reproduction. To enlarge another area of the timeline, use the touchpad or mouse wheels. With the up and down arrows, we can move harm or backward one gluing. Using the left and right arrows, we move one frame. While holding down shift, the movement will be 5 frames. Navigating with the keyboard makes it easy to find the section you want. Okay, let's move on. One of the main tools is the razor tool with which you can cut materials. Press the C key, and by pressing the element, we divide it into two parts. It is important to know that while pressing shift, you can cut off all the layers below. This applies to both video and audio tracks. Use this to avoid cutting each layer by hand. There is another quick way to cut video. For example, this part at the beginning does not suit us. Press C cut and delete this area. All these manipulations are replaced by the Q key. Just select a place and press Q all excess part of the clip on the left side is removed. If you need to delete the area to the right of the cursor, press W instead of manipulating in a few seconds. This saves a lot of time. In a situation where one clip needs to be duplicated, it is often copied. The shortcut keys command plus C and paste with the keys command plus V. You can simplify this by using the option key. Holding it down, we can drag any section to any track. Consider a common situation. You have put together a video and understand that some frames need to be swapped. Without hotkeys, it looks like this.
but by holding down the command key, you can drag and drop slices without changing the timing. You can insert rollers by gluing, or you can cut into the middle of other rollers. Now we will talk about three very important buttons in work. JKL. Believe me, working with these buttons, you will save a huge amount of time. They perform fast forward, rewind and pause. Each second press speeds up the rewind by two times. It is very easy to remember them using this scheme. In order to correct the place of gluing, make one frame longer, the other shorter. Without hotkeys, it looks something like this. Pressing the N key, you can change the gluing place with one movement. When working with sound, there are often files with different volume levels. You can fix it by right-clicking on the OR file and choosing Audio Gain. In this line, we indicate the value for which to change the volume. This window can also be called up with the G key on the keyboard. Having selected the first item, we can adjust the volume in this way. Our values have changed. A very useful feature when you have a lot of audio files in your project and on different tracks. Selecting files on the timeline. Press the A key to select all files to the right of the cursor. Selects all files in their entirety, even if they start earlier than the cursor is. By pressing Shift plus A we can select all files to the left of the cursor. In viewing the material, you can also use hotkeys and do it quickly. As usual. We select the first point, select the second and drag it to the timeline. Now let's do the same with only hotkeys. First point, press I. Second point, O. Add this fragment to the timeline, press. And so on, we look at and select the desired areas. Further, on the timeline, we can more accurately select the places of gluing. Cut off excess parts and do further editing. 
the main thing is that we always have the ability to change the assignment of hotkeys. Click Premiere Pro. Keyboard Shortcuts. And before us is the entire keyboard layout with signatures, where is the command? Here are the navigation arrows we talked about. Hovering over the button, we see what command it executes. There is also a list of all these commands. You can use the search. Find the command you want. And change shortcuts.